on July 21st, 1861, the First Battle of Bull Run marked the first major land battle of the American Civil War. Union forces, under General Irvin McDowell, faced off against Confederate troops led by General Pierre G. T. Beauregard in Northern Virginia. Just three months after the war began at Fort Sumter, Union leaders were confident of a quick victory. General McDowell, leading a force of 34,000 mostly inexperienced soldiers, advanced towards the railroad junction at Manassas, only 30 miles from Washington, D.C. In response, General Beauregard gathered 20,000 Confederate troops, soon reinforced by an additional 9,000 soldiers under General Joseph Johnston. On the morning of July 21st, hundreds of civilians, curious to witness the battle, gathered nearby. The conflict began with Union divisions crossing Bull Run Stream, initially pushing Confederate forces back to Henry House Hill. However, General Beauregard had established a strong defensive line there, anchored by General Thomas J. Jackson's brigade. Jackson's steadfast defense earned him the legendary nickname Stonewall. As the battle raged, Confederate cavalry under J.E.B. Stewart captured Union artillery, and Beauregard ordered a decisive counterattack on the Union's right flank. The Confederate soldiers charged down the hill, breaking the Union lines and forcing a chaotic retreat back across Bull Run. The retreat turned into a frantic flight, with Union soldiers leaving behind supplies and equipment as they fled to Washington. The battle resulted in heavy casualties. 3,000 Union soldiers were killed, wounded or missing, while Confederate losses numbered around 2,000. The scale of the bloodshed shocked not only the onlookers, but also the U.S. government, revealing the grim reality of the conflict and the challenges ahead in quelling the Southern Rebellion. The First Battle of Bull Run shattered any illusions of a short war and marked a significant turning point, underscoring the need for better preparation and strategy by the Union forces.